Hello, welcome to this listing. The item that I want to show you now is a, a very nice quality Japanese Buddhist altar bell. These uh, bells are called Rin in Japanese and a bell of this size would typically be used in a Butsudan home altar. Much larger bells would be uh, more suitable for temples. Uh, this bell includes a, a wooden striker. These are called Bai in Japanese and together they uh, make a, a very produce a very beautiful sound. I'll ring it in just a second. Let's take a look at the bell first though. Um, we can see if we look on the inside that the uh, bell does have some wear and corrosion on the inside although nothing too serious. It certainly doesn't impact the sound at all. And on the unders underside you can see the, uh, that the part of the bell that was not exposed to light is still quite shiny and uh, with a beautiful uh, brass, brass surface. If we go back to the edge here where it was more exposed to the light over the years, you can see that it uh, has a deeper patina. The uh, bai is, uh, fa is wooden, solid wood, with a uh, fabric striker, fabric cover at the end. It's a little bit frayed at the edges as you can see here. Let's go ahead and uh, hear the bell and uh, listen to its lovely sound. As you can hear, it has a very nice tone and resonance. The bell would probably ring better if it had a, a fabric uh, cushion, uh, a zabutan, to rest upon. Uh, this bell doesn't come with a zabutan, but we do have zabutan, brand new zabutan, in our store that you can look up for. I would probably recommend the smaller to medium sized zabutan for this particular bell. Uh, send me an email or give me a call if you want to talk about it in particular, and I can uh, suggest an, uh, a good size for you. Okay, thank you very much for dropping by and uh, for having a look at this lovely bell. Let's ring it one more time before we uh, sign off. Take care for now. Bye-bye.